This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's uh, let's talk about Rocky King. We got another question. We've never really talked about him. Craig Fightmaster wants to know any good Rocky King stories. I have one. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna have to picture this okay. now. <clears throat> show finishes in uh, Fayetteville, North Carolina, and I think I'm with Bobby Eaton. I think we're riding together. And uh, the way the way you go to Charlotte from Fayetteville is there's some back roads and shortcuts involved first part of the trip and it's some pretty dark two lane roads. I'm trying to think it's called old wire road and it, it cuts off between 74 and 401. I believe I've got my numbers right. And it saves you about 20 miles on a 140 mile trip, which is pretty good savings. Uh, so we're going down the road and I see this car in front of us and he's got the dome light on and he's not going very fast, but you know, it's, I think it's 55 mile an hour speed limit and he's doing about 40. So we come up behind him and I start to look and it's, I see it's boogie woogie man and he's in the passenger seat and somebody's driving, and I can't tell who it is. So pull up, start to go around him. I get a stretch of road. I pull up to pass him. I look over, and it's Rocky King, and he's driving Boogie. That's fine. Well and good. Young boy, veteran. The problem is Boogie's got a handful of cards in both hands. He has somehow convinced Rocky that they can play cards and gamble going down the road and he'll just hold Rocky's hand for him. Oh my gosh. I find this story out the next day talking to Boogie because they didn't put us over for shit. They never even looked our way. So Boogie is discarding for him and everything that goes into a game of poker, I guess. <laughs> and playing for money. Um, I never talked to Rock about it, but I wanted so bad to tell him, you know what? I hate to bust your bubble, and I love Boogie too. You may be getting cheated. <laughs> Not sure. Just saying. Hypothetically. Potentially. Great question here about travel uh, all in Mike 51 wants to know how many pairs of trunks or boots would you pack on a typical weekly loop? And of course the question comes because a lot of times after the show, well, I think fans just assume, oh, well, they just finished in this town. They'll probably go back to their hotel and fill out the dry cleaning tab and send it down to be laundered. And then the next day they'll make their way to the next town after a little, you know, late breakfast. Well, that's not reality. Uh, tell everybody how that really worked. How many pairs of trunks or boots and how would you take care of those in the middle of that loop? If you're going to be gone, say seven days, right? This one never ended up biting us on the ass to my knowledge. It never did me. I, I won't say it didn't happen to other people, but for seven days, I would say you book about, uh, pack about three or four pair of tights, two pair of knee pads. And I only had one pair of boots that I carried. And that's the part that it's amazing since we're talking about it. It's a good question that, that I never had a boot blow out on me, walk out of a hotel and forget to pack my boots. Cause the first thing you did when you got back from a show, if you're going to go down to the bar and have a couple beverages or what, if you're going to go eat, or if you were just going to go straight to bed when you got back, it didn't matter. But if you were, even if you drove 300 miles and got to the town at five in the morning, it, same routine, unpack your bag, fold your boots down, lay all your stuff out 
and take your tights and wash them out in the sink and hang them up and let them dry every night, period. Uh, so that stuff would dry out overnight and uh, because there's nothing worse and it got as much heat on you as, as a lot of things, not as much as being a thief or reckless, but maybe being a loud mouth or a smart ass or being late all the time or being disrespectful, maybe in the locker room a little bit or something. This was right up there with that group of, of shenanigans. If you had stinky gear in those close quarters, that was heat because it literally took three minutes to throw them in a sink, run it full of hot water, take some shampoo and wash your tights out and then let them dry overnight. You got get it. You could get two wear, two wears out of them at least that way, even with them getting stretched out and all that other stuff, you could still get two wears. So, you know, for a seven day run, if you had four pair of tights with you, you were pretty golden. Your knee pads would get stretched out a little bit and they'd need to go in a dryer washed and then a dryer. Uh, so you always brought an extra pair of knee pads. That was my formula. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.